The eternal menswear dilemma. Do I want to look great or do I want to be dressed for the weather? In our opinion, there is no brand that solves this problem as completely or with as many style points as Japan's Nanamika. So today I'm going to take you into the shop and I'm going to show you some highlight pieces from their Spring Summer 22 collection. Let's go. Welcome to another Wallace Collection intro. Uh, my name is Tony. I realized in all of our previous videos I never introduced myself. So now you know. My name is Tony and today we're going to talk about Nanamika, which is a real shop favorite and just a phenomenal Japanese brand. Uh, but before we get into the clothes, uh, I would like to give you a friendly reminder to like the video, comment, uh, subscribe. We've got a ton of more videos coming down the pipe. We're really excited about what we're doing and um, we really appreciate any support you can give towards the channel. So. Now I'll talk a bit about Nanamika. So Nanamika, the brand, was founded in 2003 by Ichiro Hama. Their designs take a lot from timeless classic menswear from the 50s and 60s, a lot of Americana, uh, workwear, outdoor wear, uh, military's a big influence, sportswear as well even. Um, but what makes Nanamika different is the fact that they incorporate so many modern and cutting edge fabrics like Gore-Tex, Coolmax, Cordura, uh, materials like that into these designs that are usually just old school fabrics like cotton and wool. The fabrics themselves improve the garment's functionality, but they're not going to significantly change the way that the garment feels or looks. So that being said, we'll get into the clothes. Uh, I'd like to start with the big dog. This is my favorite piece and one of the most iconic Nanamika pieces. So this is called the Cruiser Jacket. Um, it's based off of a US Army jacket from the ECWCS, uh, which is the Extended Cold Weather Clothing System, which was a modular layering system um, that was founded in the 80s. And it's still in operation today. I think it's in its third or fourth iteration. Um, and so it ranges from base layers all the way up to uh, waterproof like parkas. So this is based off of the Gore-Tex uh, rain jacket that they have. But it's done very Nanamik. As you can see, it's a really uh, kind of toned down and subtle navy color. Um, it has a bit of a boxy fit, uh, wide body, raglan sleeves, and the, the uh, sleeves themselves are also relatively relaxed. You have these two big front pockets, flaps, and behind them you have these hidden hand pockets. Uh, you have a stand collar and this absolutely enormous cavernous hood. Um, the fabric is a two-layer polyester twill uh, with a Gore-Tex Gore membrane. So this is interesting because most Gore-Tex that you'll encounter is a nylon facing with the Gore-Tex membrane and then I think usually a nylon backing as well. And so that gives you that classic crunchy Gore-Tex texture. Um, this one is very soft. I don't know if you can hear, like it sounds like a regular piece of clothing. Um, it doesn't sound like a crunchy like plastic bag. Um, so this is super comfortable to wear. It's very soft and light and breathable. Um, and the hardware on this is absolutely phenomenal. So you have these double storm flaps which hide the placket. So the first storm flap, second storm flap, and then there's the zipper. Uh, but this, the fasteners um, on the storm flap have these loops under the snaps. So you can like slide your finger in and pop them closed much more easily than if they were sewn right onto the placket. And then it has a two-way zipper, of course, as any good piece of technical outerwear should. And then, and you have this blue um, classic Nanamika check lining. They put this in a lot of their jackets and this is a cool max fabric. So it is a cotton polyester blend and it's uh, moisture wicking and very breathable. And what I think makes this jacket really special is really just the silhouette of it and the design of it because it's 100% Gore-Tex. It functions, at least if you're in the city, it functions just like uh, any kind of classic Gore or shell would. Um, but it's so low key, it's so understated, uh, and it kind of looks like almost like an old school rubberized raincoat or like a like high fashion padding to bear or something. Super clean design. This is an absolute classic. In a similar vein, 
this is the Gore-Tex Soutine Collar Coat. Um, so also made out of the two layer polyester faced Gore-Tex with the same check lining. Um, but this is based off of a classic menswear raincoat, um, the Macintosh. So you have storm flap over the placket. You have these uh, pockets that are also uh, buttoned up. You have button adjustments on the sleeves. The silhouette is long, also a little boxy, less boxy than the cruiser jacket. This is a great option if your style leans a little more kind of elegant or more, um, maybe a little more dressy, or you could wear this as a work jacket. Work as in going to the office, not work as in like a construction site, obviously. Okay, next piece. This one is not Gore-Tex. This is called, just called the field jacket, nice and simple. Um, it is made out of a, a nylon merino blend and it has this really wonderful sheen to it. It reflects the light a little bit. It has a bit of a crinkly light texture to it. And this silhouette is based off of the uh, BDU shirt. So that's the battle dress uniform shirt, which is a US military standard issue shirt um, that was issued from the 80s to the 2000s. So this is just the, this was just the go-to kind of all-purpose shirt in the in the US military. But obviously they Nanamika fight it, if that's a word. Um, Similar to an M65 or a jungle jacket, but a little more cropped, it sits more at your waist or just past your waist, whereas a jungle jacket would hit a little further down your thigh. Um, yeah, just a really wonderful uh, kind of all season piece. You could wear this as a mid layer in the winter, or you could wear it as a jacket in the summer or spring. Oh, I also should mention there is a draw cord adjustment in the waist. So you can take the waist in if you want, gives it the silhouette of more of a tailored jacket. So you can keep it boxy or you can bring the waist in and it gives a bit of a dressier shape. Uh, moving on. So uh, next, let's talk about some pants. So this is the five pocket jean. Uh, you know, looks like a standard piece of denim. Has also been nanomicified though. So this denim is extremely soft and light. I don't know if you can tell based on the way it moves. It is not a crispy, starchy denim. This is made out of Nanamika's covering core yarn. So what that means is there's a polyester core that is the, the core of the yarn and then cotton is wrapped around it. So you get the hand feel of cotton, but it's stronger than cotton. And also because the core is polyester and polyester doesn't absorb water, uh, it dries a lot faster than regular denim. So that's a really nice feature. Um, other than that, the design itself is, is quite straightforward. A bit roomier in the thigh. It tapers a little bit towards the hem. Um, they have the gusseted inseam here. So that gives you a bit more range of movement. Uh, and also, interesting feature, there is no outside seam, which makes it exceptionally comfortable to wear. And the fabric itself, like I said, is very soft and breathable. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like denim. It feels more like a, like a sort of soft, worn-in chino cloth. These are the double pleat wide chinos. These are based off of uh, French military trousers. The regular wide chino pants without the pleats are based on 50s US military chinos. Also made out of the covering core yarn, so you have polyester core with the cotton wrapped around it. These are wide all the way through. A uh, lot of room in the thigh. They still have the gusseted inseam. And uh, they have this really wonderful, like, just straight silhouette. And you can wear them a bit higher on your waist because they're double pleated. So you can wear them kind of higher up and they'll fall straight, or you can wear them lower and they'll stack up a bit more. You could hem them, you could cuff them. You also have these great flap pocket details on the back. Um, yeah, and I just think these are, these are my personal favorite pants that Nanamika makes. I'm really into pleats these days. So these scratch that itch. some shirts. So this is an Anamika signature. This is the button down wind shirt. So this is based on uh, American Oxford cloth button downs, an Ivy style classic. Uh, but the way this has been Anamika vibe is it's made out of a uh, Cordura cotton nylon blend. So it really looks like Oxford cloth and the weave is the same as all cotton Oxford cloth, but it has this smoother, slightly crispy feeling. Um, that makes it wind resistant, 
uh, a little bit water resistant as well. And it has this really large silhouette as many Nanamika pieces do. So really wide through the body and it kind of, it almost has an A-line shape. Um, like if you, if you have it buttoned all the way up, it, the sides stay out because the Cordura fabric is a bit more rigid and a bit less flowy than standard cotton. Um, other than that though, they've kept it very true to the classic. So you've got this really nice uh, button down collar, has a nice roll to it. The, all the body stitching is triple stitch, so it's extremely sturdy. Um, and it looks, this looks like a button up shirt, looks like a dress shirt, but I almost think of it as a piece of super lightweight, rugged outerwear. Um, like you could wear this doing virtually anything and it wouldn't, it's not gonna rip, it's not going to, um, you know, fall apart the way that a regular cotton shirt would if you put it under duress. The other piece of shirting that we have is the half sleeve chambray uh, wind shirt. So like the other wind shirt, very broad shape. And Nanamika doesn't make short sleeve things, they make half sleeve things. Uh, so as you can see, the sleeve is really wide, the shoulder's a bit dropped. So when you wear it, the shoulder seam is going to hit a little farther down your shoulder. And this is, looks like a straight ahead chambray cloth. Chambray is, looks like denim, it's a lot lighter, it's better suited for shirting, um, and denim is more better suited for pants and like true workwear. So this is based off of chambray work shirts from the mid 20th century. Big silhouette, uh, you've got these two rounded chest pockets, and then I really like the collar. This is what's called a convertible collar. When you unbutton it, it falls open, kind of like a camp collar, or almost like a notch lapel on a jacket. And so it's convertible. You can wear it open or you can wear it buttoned up and both look equally clean. Um, and this is also a, uh, uh, this is made with the covering core yarn. So this is the polyester core with the cotton around it. So also quick drying and really breathable. This is called the, the half sleeve uh, striped polo sweater. Um, and it is just a really beautiful knit polo. You've got the rib cuffs on the sleeve. You've got the ribbed hem and it has a very full, wide silhouette. <laughs> I think this looks a lot better than like the oversized polos of the 2000s. No offense to Kanye wearing the pink, pink Ralph. Um, that is a great look, but I, I prefer this. Uh, the color is really gorgeous. It's this powder blue uh, mixed with this kind of dusty beige that almost has a pink undertone to it. The really great part about this, in my opinion, is the fabric. So this is a washi paper Cool Max blend. So washi paper is a, a Japanese type of paper. It's used for all manner of things. It's used for art. Um, it's used for, uh, also used for clothing. You can um, uh, turn it into yarn quite easily. And it gives this uh, very dry, a little bit crispy, kind of springy feel to the fabric. But then they've mixed that with Cool Max, which is a cotton polyester blend. It's a moisture wicking uh, material. And so it's soft and a little bit stretchy, like uh, cotton usually is, but then it also has that really unique washi paper texture. Okay, so now I'll show you some bags. Natamika takes a lot of pride in their bags. They make some of the best bags around, definitely in our opinion. Um, so this is the day pack. This is a cotton nylon ripstop. Uh, it's a Cordura fabric. Um, and it's very simple. You just got the three pockets. You have a front zip pocket. You have this larger front pocket. So it has a snap closure. The main compartment has a zipper. And as you can see, this is a huge bag. We have a lot of craft paper in here, so I'm not gonna open it for you. Uh, but inside there's this giant main compartment. At the back, there is a zip laptop pocket. You keep documents in there, books, or your laptop, of course. This is a bit of a smoother fabric against your back a little more comfortable. This is kind of the only backpack you'd really ever need. You can fit anything in here. Yeah, and just a extremely simple design, kind of like the school backpacks that Jan Sporter East Pack would make, uh, but oversized, way roomier, way better quality. Um, made in Japan as well. Uh, and so this is a great example of Nanamika sticking to a very simple, timeless design and then just making it the absolute best they possibly could. Now, our much cuter friend here is the water repellent shoulder bag. Uh, this is, it can be worn two ways. So you have the tote handle, you just kind of 
hang on to it. Or you have a shoulder strap, which you can wear over your shoulder. Um, it is made out of a cotton twill that has a water repellent coating on it. So water will just beat off of it. Your belongings inside will stay dry, even if you're caught in a bit of a rainstorm. And it's quite simple. You just have this main pocket right here. And then there's this zip pocket on the back that has a storm flap over top. And both of these straps are removable. So they have these kind of carabiner closures that you can hook in. So you can choose which straps you want to use. You could just use one. You could, I mean, you could even use none if you just want to use it as a clutch or something. Um, and it's also doesn't have any side panels. So it, it's almost like envelope shaped. It lies very flat if you wear it against your body, like under a coat, or if you need to, you can store it in a backpack or in a bag. Um, and it's very low key, you can just kind of take it out when you need it, or it's a great uh, bag to have if you're just out and about running errands, and you're not gonna need a ton of storage. And there you have it. So that is our, you know, sample of our Nanamika collection for spring, summer 22. We have a lot more pieces. It's our largest collection of the season. So if you want to see more, you can click the link in the description below. Uh, we will have our website linked and you can check out all of our Nanamika pieces. Um, we've got detailed photos and product descriptions as well that will give you a lot of information. Um, if you want to watch more Nanamika videos, we'll link it up here. We did a collection intro just like this one, uh, but two seasons ago. And there's a lot of the same pieces that carried over. So a lot of the information is still relevant. Um, other than that, just give us a thumbs up if you like the video, uh, comment down below if you have any thoughts, wh what kind of videos would you like to see, what brands would you like to see. We want to hear what you think of uh, this format. Um, and then yeah, subscribe. We'd love to uh, have you follow us as we uh, continue to make more videos and we've got several more coming this season, so stay tuned. If you're in the Vancouver area, come by the shop. We're on Main Street in the Mount Pleasant area and um, yeah. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.